Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this is question number four from the Solomon A collection of um, you know P4 or C4, the old C4 collection, which is also question number four as well from my end of topic worksheet on integration um, number one. And this question here is about again differential equations. It's during a chemical reaction. A compound is being made from two other substances. <clears throat> At time t hours after the start of the reaction, x grams of the compound has been produced. Assuming that x equals 0 initially and that dx dt is equal to 2 times x minus 6 times x minus 3, show that it takes approximately 7 minutes to produce 2 grams of the compound. Right. So here we told that there is, there is uh, the mass of a of a compound that's being produced from two other substances is x and that the rate of produce or the rate that the compound is uh, is being produced at is given by dx dt which is this expression over here and that initially when x is when time is zero initially means when time is zero that's what initially means. X is equal to zero. The amount that was produced was zero. So it starts off with nothing being produced. Then I asked to show that it, it takes approximately seven minutes to produce two grams of the compound. So we have to solve this differential equation. We'll end up with some function X is equal to some function of T. All right. And then we have to show that to produce two, when X equals two, T is going to be seven, basically. Right, and they gave us a pair of values that we know when x equals zero, when t equals zero, x equals zero. That's what they're telling us here, assuming that x equals zero in initially. Okay, so let's try to um, solve this differential equation. So, first of all, they already gave us this dx dt is equal to two times x minus six times x minus three. Now, I'm going to solve this differential equation and the way to do it is to integrate both sides with respect to t because you have dx dt if you integrate both sides with respect to t and i take the i like to take the constants out of the integral you don't have to do that i just prefer to do that we these cancel out and now we're left with something where we have the integral of dx equals two, <coughs> 2 times the integral of x minus 6 times x minus 3 dt. Now, on this side, you've got dx. On this side, you've got dt. On the side that says dx, you must put all the x terms. On the side that says dt, you must put all the t terms, if there are any. So what we need to do here is we need to divide both sides by x minus 6 times x minus 3. x minus 6 times x minus 3. Okay, we need to um, divide that by the, both sides by this. So you end up with 1 over x minus 6 times x minus 3 dx equals the integral of 2. Now, there's no other t term, so you're just going to have 1 dt. All right, so now we can um, do a number of things. I'm going to just integrate this as normal and put a plus c and find what that's, that constant is. All right, that's what I'm going to do first. But before I can integrate this, I have to um, split this up. Because I can't integrate this as it is. I need to split this up into partial fractions. So I'm going to go on a little uh, detour over here. And I'll say, okay, 1 over x minus 6 times x minus 3 is equal to... So I'm not integrating. I'm just... So, so far we got this. But I'm, I'm now just taking a detour. I'm just taking, focusing on this part and splitting up into two separate fractions, which I'll be able to integrate. So you have x minus 6 times x minus 3. So a over x minus 6 plus b over x minus 3. This is from the topic of partial fractions. So what I can do here is I can multiply both sides of this identity by x minus, x, x minus 6 times x minus 3. So on the left side, you get 1. On the right side, when you multiply this by that fraction, the x minus 6 is cancelled, leaving you with x minus 3. And you multiply these two terms by this fraction, the x minus 3 cancels, leaving you with b times x minus 6. Now to find what a and b are, we can use substitution to make the bracket 0. x equals 3 makes this bracket 0. So you have 1 equals 
that's b times 3 minus 6, which is minus 3. That's minus 3b. Therefore, b is equal to minus 1 third. And when x is equal to 6, then this bracket becomes 0. You're left with 1 equals um, a times 6 minus 3, which is 3a. So therefore, a is equal to 1 third. So this is actually equal to now 1 over 3 times x minus 6 plus 1 over 3, sorry, minus minus 1 over 3 times x minus 3. Okay, so now we've split this, this up into these two fractions. I can even express this as 1 third times uh, 1 over x minus 6 minus 1 over x minus 3. And that will help me to take out the constant from this as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write this as 1 third outside the integral. And inside I'm going to have two separate fractions, 1 over x minus 6 minus 1 over x minus 3. That's going to be integrated with respect to x. And the other side, I've got it ready. Take the two, I'm going to leave the two outside, as I have already, and integrate this side with respect to t. Now, when I integrate this side, I'm going to have a third. Now, when I integrate here, I'll have, there will be the lin of the modulus of x minus 6 minus the lin of the modulus of x minus 3. That's how you integrate something which is 1 over x, in the form of 1 over x, a constant over x to the power of 1. Okay, I can't do, I can't write x minus 6 to the power of minus 1 and try to integrate, because I add 1 to the power, it's going to give me 0. So this type of equation, when you end up with, or this type of expression, when you have 1 over x, or 1 over x, you know, the, the power here is not squared, or like it's not x minus 6 to the power of 2, or something like that, you have to use lin. Okay, so lin of x, modulus of x minus 6, then you divide by the differential what's inside the function, which is 1, so we don't write anything underneath it now. Okay, and that's equal to, this is going to be 2 times the, the integral of 1 with respect to t is t, 2t plus, I'm going to put plus c here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this a little bit, so this is a third, and I have lin, I have x minus 6 over x minus 3 using our uh, what's his name, using our um, laws of logarithms. All right, this is the division law, when you have the, the, the log to the, the base of something of a term minus the log to the same base of something, you can divide those things. If it was added, you can multiply those two things and express it as one logarithm. Okay, so now, what I want to do is I want to find out what the value of c is. So I know within t equals zero, we know that x also equals zero. Initially, there's none produce so we can find what c is from that so this is going to be a third times the lin of the modulus of minus 6 over minus 3 equals c because 2 t two, two becomes 0 x becomes 0 so x is equal to a third lin 2 okay so that's what c is so now we have our equation um, we can say that <clears throat> Um, we have to find, basically, we have to find what um, x is when t, we have to show that when x is 2, t is 7. That's what we have to show here. So we know what c is, and we have up to now this equation over here. So we got a third lin modulus of x minus 6 over x minus 3 equals 2 times t plus a third lin 2. So now when x equals 2 grams, we want to find what t is. So let's just put x equals 2 into here. When x equals 2, you have a third times a lin. Now you put 2 in here, you're going to have 2 minus 6, which is minus 4, and 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. And that's going to be 2t plus a third lin 2. So this goes, the thirds will cancel out. No, no, they won't actually, because you've got the 2 there, sorry. Let me just correct that. Okay, what we're going to have, we'll have a third times a lin of, this is going to become 4. Okay, um, minus a third lin 2 equals 2t. Two so I'm just going to carry over here. These two can be combined, because this is like a third times the lin of 4 minus lin 2 equals 2t, and this will give you a third 
ln 2. You can divide these two equals 2t. So 2 is equal to 1 over 6 ln 2. Now, if hopefully, now this is t here. It tells us t is in hours. And, they've got to, and we've got to show that it takes 7 minutes. So let's see what this gives us. This will be in hours, and we'll have to change it into minutes to show that that's seven minutes. Let's see, one over six times lin two. That gives us 0 0.11552, 0 0.11552. This is hours. Now, we've got to multiply this by 60 to change it into minutes, and that gives us 6.93. 1, 6.931 minutes, which is approximately 7 minutes. And that's what it says, approximately. Approximately 7 minutes. So that, that shows that we have got the right answer. Okay, that's approximately 7 minutes. So we can see that that is when um, there's a 2 kilogram mass produced will be when time is 7 minutes. Okay, now it says for the next part, it says explain why it is not possible to produce three grams of the compound. Okay, so basically what we'll see here, let's see why is it not possible to produce three grams of the compound. Well, we end up with here, um, let's just look at this. I'll take this to the other side. This is, what, this is our equation that we ended up with. This is the one with, with the C in there. So let me take this value. This equation. Right, so we're answering part B, which is on the other page. Now, why is it <coughs> not possible to produce three grams of the compound? Um, we can kind of say that when x equals three, okay, then we have the lin of x minus six over x minus three is going to be undefined because. It's undefined. Why? Because when x equals 3, you have x minus 6 over 0, okay, which is undefined. So I guess you could say it's how many, how many is that worth? Two marks. Yeah, I guess that should be fine. Sorry about my bad handwriting. Okay, is undefined. I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. Okay, when x equals 3, this expression becomes undefined because x can't be 3, this will become 0, and the denominator can't be 0. The denominator is 0, it becomes undefined. So that's why it's basically it says here, that's why it's not possible to produce 3 grams of the compound. Okay, so that's, I guess, is um, the answer for that question. All right, so um, thank you for watching. I hope that was clear. Um, other questions from the Solomon A collection, as I answer them from P4, will be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from the Endotopic Worksheet number 6, part 1, can be found over here. That's for the P4 integration worksheet. And you can subscribe to my channel. Other questions about uh, differential equations in general can be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.